Hello, it's your Uncle Jimmy here from the Little Speed Shop once again. Today, we're doing something we don't do very often, but we're going to have to do a lot more in the future, and that's carbon blast on the 335 diesel, and that's the uh, E90 with the diesel engine that BMW built starting around 2010, and also the X5. Uh, this engine is known as the M57Y. Uh, one of the things that it does, okay, it has incredible power, excellent torque, and a very, very good fuel economy. Uh, it's a really great combination for these two cars. They require a diesel exhaust fluid or a DEF or an fluid to keep the exhaust system clean. So they're very, very environmentally friendly, very environmentally friendly. The, uh, what I was told in training is that the air coming out the tailpipe is cleaner than the air that goes into the air cleaner into the engine. So one of the problems that we experience with these cars is that they will carbon up like nothing you've ever seen before. What happens is this vehicle has two actual separate sets of valves for intake air. And the problem is you get just air because the diesel fuel is directly ejected. There's no fuel actually going through the ports where the air goes. Which you'd think, okay, no problem, except for the fact that the turbo needs to be lubricated. So they squirt oil into the turbo, the turbo shoots it up in through the uh, intercooler and then into the engine through the ports with, again, no fuel and they carbon up, and they carbon up very, very badly. And as you can see here and here, it is, it is actually diminished the uh, diameter of the port going into the valve, and there's also ports over here, same thing. They're so coked up that what we get, is we get, we get actual diesel engine misfires, and uh, we get mass air uh, adaption faults, because it thinks it needs more air than it's getting, and, it doesn't know why it's not getting it, just knows it's not getting enough air. So what we have to do is go through, and it's pretty, pretty elaborate, this, this particular uh, procedure. We have to clean these ports over here, these ports over here with the uh, walnut shell blaster, and then also uh, the valve cover has a small port, it's about yay long, that goes into here. There were actually uh, enormous piles of carbon that came out of each one, and we were kind of, uh, we were kind of amazed how much garbage came out of this. We're going to go through, what we're going to do is go through and scrape out as much carbon as we can, get it out of there, and then we're going to go in and do the wall and shelf blast, and that will restore the performance of this car. And I guarantee you that our customer will remark, wow, this car runs like new again. And this is something that's probably going to have to be done if you own one of these cars and put approximately 150 to 200,000 miles on it, you're probably going to have to do it about three or four times during your ownership of the car. So this particular car is 77,000 miles on it. And these things were so coked up, they were almost closed off. So, the performance will return, the fuel economy will return, and the smile will return to the customer's face. Uh, it's a lot of work, so you're gonna wanna leave the car for a couple days and get ready for a fairly hefty labor charge. There's a lot of work involved in getting all these parts off so you can get them clean.